Hi, I'm Julian, an engineer here at Airlift Performance. Today I'm going to walk you through some basic diagnostic steps for your 3P or 3H air management system so you can quickly validate your install or troubleshoot any potential system issues. You'll be able to complete these steps the exact same way both from your controller and smartphone app. Let's get started. Before we can start a diagnostic routine, let's take care of some safety items. Using the controller app, turn Rise on Start off. Using the controller app, turn Preset Maintain off and air out the vehicle. Leave the ignition switch on through this process. Then remove the front left air line from the manifold. Now we can safely trigger the diagnostics routine. With the ignition switch still on, disconnect, then reconnect the manifold connector. The diagnostics routine will only run if the ignition switch is already on when you connect the manifold connector. The system will now enter a boot up sequence. While this occurs, you will hear a series of clicks separated by a pause coming from the manifold, which indicate either a passcode or an error code. You can determine which code is being indicated by counting the number of clicks before and after the pause. For example, code 1-1, which is the passcode, would be one click before the pause and one click after the pause. There are a few common error codes that may pop up as you use the system. We'll go over them now so you are familiar with them. If you reconnect the manifold connector and hear no clicks, this indicates an install error. Check to make sure the battery and ignition wires are properly connected to the system. Code 2-4 signals a battery voltage below 9 volts. At that voltage, the power level is too low for the system to operate correctly and you'll need to change the vehicle battery. Codes 4-1 and 4-2 are very similar, both indicating errors involving the compressor relays. Four dash one refers to compressor one and four dash two refers to compressor two. One of these errors indicates a bad relay or relay connection. Check to make sure the relay hasn't been temporarily removed and is properly installed. Also check the connections from the main harness to the compressor. If you still have any questions after completing self-diagnostics, remember our knowledgeable in-house customer service team is always just a phone call away. Thank you for choosing Airlift Performance. We're glad to be a part of your life on air.